Okay, do you guys remember how to do that? You got it step yeah. by step? Okay. Now we're going to do a different finish on the pass. Okay? Go ahead, get guard. Okay. Bice, hands are where? Bicep. Okay, elbows are where? Hips. Locking the hips nice and tight. All right, should my hips be back here? No, no. Where should my knees be? In the pocket. In the pocket. In the pocket, up tight. That makes me have better control of his hips because my hips are in and that stops the sweeps and stuff. Try and cross your legs. I know you can't, but give me the pressure, okay? So from here, my right leg does what? It straightens out and comes where? In the butt. What does my left leg do now? It opens the door. Opens the door. Okay, and where does my body go when I open the door? Posture, head up, posture up, okay? So let's do that. Leg straight. Open the door, posture up. Try and pin this leg down, give me this pressure. Leg pins down here, open, like this, try and keep her. Here? Okay, so you pin this down, and leg doesn't go on the outside. Does her knee go on the outside? No. Where's her knee go? On the inside, very good guys. Knee goes down to the hip with gravity. Let gravity take that knee down. As soon as that knee's down, we keep the leg pinned with our staple, and we go where? Head and arm, this is called head and arm control, and the palm goes up to the sky. Then you can shove the shoulder in the throat if you want to be easy. Okay, you guys know to tap out if something hurts, right? From here, last time we took this leg out and scissored out. Okay, last time we took this leg out and scissored out. That's a good way of guard pass. But sometimes, sometimes you just blast through with the other knee. Because this is pinned still stapled, I'm going to bring the other knee through. And then do like a dance move to get them both out. Okay, so without me having control right now, sometimes, guys, the right leg kicks out. Other times, the right leg, the left leg just opens up a little bit to give space for the right knee and bring the right knee through and then pull out. Now, when I'm doing that, you do it with head and arm control, staying tight still. This guard pass I used in my last fight. Just trying to keep recovering guard. I got my left knee through, I pinned it, and then I popped my right, keeping head and arm. I bring, brought my right knee through, here, and then pick it up. It's a good sign now. Head and arm. Knees, wide, chest, flow over here. Okay, so you're keeping your head and arm control, and you just bring the right knee by it. You put both knees by each other, and then spin them out. Okay, any questions? So it's the same thing, just a little finish to get to side mount. Okay, wait, one more thing we're going to add on yet. From head and arm control, from side mount, our right hip and knee is always by their hip. We don't want our right leg down by their leg. Our right knee by your hip, and then to mount, guys, I want you to drag your knee across the belly, push it, push it, and right before, right as the right before the knee hits the ground, bam, I'll just wide leg spider man. Because we don't want him to have this arm and bridge us and roll us over there. So we're going to keep having on. We're going to drag your knee across the belly, push, 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 aim that knee using gravity down to the ground, and then right before it hits the mat, bam, I'm just wide leg spider man. Okay, so for your pass, get side mount, hold the side mount, take it like three, four seconds, five seconds, hold it for five seconds, guys, and then go to mount. Okay, go.